Hello, hello, my name is Marsha Nuts, and this is my little sister Maya. Hello. If you've been a subscriber of my channel for a while, you might remember that about two years ago, Maya and I actually filmed a few videos together. Today we are recreating a video that we did about two years ago in which Maya tried to make a bracelet based on one of my video tutorials. Today we're basically doing the same thing. You're gonna be making a bracelet based on one of my tutorials. For context, Maya basically doesn't really know how to make bracelets. I think you've tried a little bit here and there. Uh, the last time that I made a bracelet was two years ago when we filmed a video. Uh, in to, to your channel. Also, people were asking whether or not you've actually finished that bracelet. Did you ever finish it? No, I haven't. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it went. I don't remember the last time I saw it, so I'm sorry. I don't know. Do you think you're gonna try, maybe, to finish the bracelet that we're gonna do today? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. do my best. <laughs> All right. So, I want you to do this bracelet. Okay. It's the daisy chain bracelet for which I have a tutorial. The tutorial is going to be linked in the card and in the description if you want to try it. I think that it's a beginner friendly tutorial. Looks very hard. It's not. Okay. <laughs> I'll start it for you. I'll do the loop for you because in the video that we did before you did the loop for the bracelet and that took like half of the video. I don't think there's much point in that because you already know how to do that. You did it for that video. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'll show you as I'm demonstrating. I just think it's going to be a waste of time if we do it for the video. So I'm going to do the loop for you in which I'm also going to show you how to do it quickly. And then I think I'm just going to leave you to it um, to continue. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> I'm gonna test the quality of my tutorials with this video. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Maya has chosen a color, which is purple, and uh, I did the loop for her. And let's see how this goes, <laughs> honestly. Good luck, Maya. Thank you. It's then the yellow strings and the white strings are in the middle. We're gonna start with a forward knot between the two white strings. So let's do that. <laughs> what is happening? Why is it sliding so much? <laughs> Because it's not secured. How am I supposed to do that when it's not secured? Carefully. You have some very long nails. Yes. <laughs> I assume that makes that's making it difficult. <sighs> what? Nothing. It's okay now. <laughs> I don't understand what is forward backward knot. Oh, uh, a forward backward knot. Do you not remember the knots? I do remember, but I don't. Is it just reversed? Okay, the forward knot, yeah, that's how you do it. I mean, that's not how I would do it, but that is how you can do it. <laughs> so you know how you're doing two halves for each knot? So you're doing like two parts of it? Yes. So with a forward backward knot, the first half of the knot that you do is going to be that of a forward knot, and the second half is that of a backward knot. So okay. one half to the right, one half to the left. That makes sense. Look at you, you're nearly an expert now. Is that right? <laughs> I think so. <sighs> what? Too much. Too much? Is it difficult? Not really. It's not that difficult, I'm just scared to mess it up. It's quite easy because there's not a lot of strings. I don't know how you're doing it with such long nails. It's not that hard. I feel like it's a superpower. Whenever my nails get too long, I get really annoyed with bracelet making. Is the backward here too? What? Is it a backward here too? So, on this side, what did I say in the video? I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe you should pay attention. <laughs> the white strings go to do a backward knot on the yellow and then a backward forward knot. Yes. Yeah, so a backward forward knot does what? Does backwards first and then forward. That's actually pretty easy. I think I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. This was supposed to be a beginner tutorial. Does it seem like a beginner tutorial to you? Yes, pretty much. Oh, I'm glad to get some feedback. Amazing. Mine doesn't look as neat as yours. It looks a bit rubbish, but you can get the idea. You can guess that it was supposed to be a flower, so... It was supposed to be? <laughs> what does it look like? It looks a bit... meh. But okay, it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. 
It doesn't. Nothing has to be perfect. I agree. You just have to do your best. Make careful, don't accidentally knock your <laughs> headphones into it. Mm. What? What is this doing here? I don't know. I'm not actually paying attention to what you're doing, so I don't know if you're doing it correctly. I don't know either. We're just gonna hope for the best. It's okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Uh, I don't know, I like doing it. It's you like it? Yeah. Really? I didn't think you would. I it's thought this was cool. annoying <laughs> for you. No, it's fine. Do you see why I like doing it as a hobby? Yeah. I find it very relaxing. I think it's very enjoyable. Like usually when I'm watching something, like listening to an audiobook or something, I like to make bracelets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <sighs> I messed up. Did you? I think. Looks bad. Why does it look bad? Because I messed up. What did you mess up? Do you want me to have a look? Mm. Oh, oh, I don't even have to teach you anything. Yeah. You just know what to do. Look at that. Absolute pro. I was made for doing this. <laughs> Look at that. How do you know how to do that? Have you, is it just because you've seen me do it? Well, it's obvious that you have to do this. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot. I haven't been a time. beginner in a long time. I don't know what's obvious at this point. <laughs> What happened? Oh! What did you do? I don't know. Oh, you didn't actually do anything wrong. It's just that um, the yellow string just kind of popped through your knot. Let me help you. So by pulling on the yellow string and then pulling back up on the white string, try and do it here yourself. Okay, basically the yellow knot is coming through where the white knot should be. Pull on the... <coughs> Well, I just broke a glass. <laughs> Pull down on the yellow string. A little long, a bit more. See, D did it pop? Yeah. It popped. Okay, pull up on the white, not a uh, white string now to secure the knot. You didn't actually do anything wrong. You just didn't, like the yellow string accidentally pu uh, pulled through. Okay. White knot. So now, what do you do now? Mm, make a forward knot with white strings. All right. Untying the knots was longer than tying. Yeah, it takes more time to untie knots, doesn't it? Yeah. Does yours look like mine? Well, looks a bit. Uh, what is that supposed looks to? Looks a bit worse, but it's only a child and doesn't know how to be better. So. What the bracelet is child? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me have a look. It looks fine. What are you saying? It looks great. It's not as neat. Well, excuse me. 13 years of experience right here. Yeah. It's not supposed to look as neat. It looks great. What do you think about this part? It's a bit easier, but I already forgot how many knots I did. You did one. One? Oh. Well, yeah, because they're doubled. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you're doing it right. Why? Because you're just doing forward knots. It's supposed to be a forward backward knot. So you do half of a forward knot, then half of a backward knot. Then half of a forward knot, half of a backward knot. I think the first one you did right. No, I did a forward knot. <laughs> okay, hold well on, maybe not. Oops. Bracelet making does require a lot of tying and then untying. So I would say you are on track to become a real bracelet maker. Every knot should be forward backward. Yeah, so you, how many did I say in the video? Six. So six forward backward knots. One full knot is two halves. Yeah. So forward, backward, that's one knot. You need to make six of those. Okay. Does it still seem easy? Yeah. I think it just takes a bit of practice, doesn't it? Yes. So how many did you just do? What did you just do? One forward, backward. Mm -hmm. I still think I'm gonna mess it up, but... Well, I'm trying to keep an eye on you. How many was that? I don't know. Two? This is the second. I don't think so, Maya. 
I don't know. It looks like three. Okay, come. Yeah, you've done three. Amazing. What do you think of the experience so I'm far? I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Only two mistakes. I'm proud of you too. You did good. What's next? The same on the other side. Just make sure to count them as well, right? Mm -hmm. How are you finding it? It's pretty, pretty nice. I don't know. I don't know why, but it makes me sleepy and tired, but also relaxed. So. <laughs> Bracelet making makes you sleepy, tired and relaxed. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of therapeutic. I guess. Did you make a mistake? No, I'm trying to count how many I did. I think it's done. You did the steps? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's amazing. Looks good. Let's have a look. Well, for the record, I also think it looks amazing. Are you gonna continue? Mm, I guess. Yeah, you said. You said backward, forward, not in here. And forward, backward, not in here. Well, oops, <laughs> do you think I remember? <laughs> Whenever I need to make a bracelet that I've already done forever ago, like usually if it's a special bracelet, if it's a pattern, then I can just read the pattern. But if it's a special bracelet, usually I just watch my own tutorial to figure out how to do it because I don't remember after I've already done it. So I apologize for misleading you on the details. Uh, it's pretty easy, but I already forgot how to do the flower, so, so I have to all, watch it all over again. So what do you think of the bracelet? I think it's pretty nice. Looks cute. And I think it's pretty easy, so it's great. Do you agree with my classification as a beginner bracelet? Yes, I do. Because I was able to make it and it looks good, so I think... What do you think of the tutorial? It's pretty nice. Is it understandable? Yes, it is. It's great. You're a good explainer. Well, can you say that? <laughs> good teacher. Good teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. I appreciate that. <laughs> Are you gonna continue making the bracelet? I think so. You're gonna finish this one? You didn't finish the other one. I will try to. Honestly, <laughs> I want to finish it. I don't know if I would be able, but I will try. All right, well, we can leave it at that. Thank you for participating today, Maya. You're welcome. <laughs> And there we go, that's all we have for you guys today. Maya, how did you find that experience? Well, it was quite fun, um, interesting, a bit challenging, but I think I liked it. All right, all right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Before I go, I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters, whose names you're gonna see on screen. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description of this video by which you can sign up and get exclusive perks for your donations. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.